cold conditions and some occasional showers passing on by the area and it's also affecting some of the runners as we're slowly wrapping up the fun run at the St. Patrick's Day run here in Brookside. In about a half an hour, the 5K will begin. So we're looking at the start and the finish line right now. They're just south of the Channel 2 studios. And again, we're starting off with some rainy conditions out there. Now, as we move on through the day, it looks like the rain chances will stay very, very high near 100% as we move on through the rest of the morning into the afternoon hours. It could even hear a few rumbles of thunder throughout the day as well, but we don't expect any kind of severe weather. As we take a look at Storm Shield radar, you notice this activity quickly pushing from the west to the east as we move through the morning hours. At times, we haven't seen any rainfall. We see those areas where we're seeing not much rain, and then we see more showers push in from the west. We're seeing another round of showers moving in to the Tulsa Metro from the west at this time. And guess what? There's more to come as we have activity all the way back into central, north central, and northwestern sections of Oklahoma. And it looks like the rain will actually expand a little bit as we move through the rest of the morning into the early afternoon hours and then slowly work its way to the south across parts of east central and southeast Oklahoma later on today. But you notice that rain generally across the northern half of the state while the southern sections haven't seen a whole lot of rain so far this morning. 42 degrees here in the city and we expect temperatures to hold steady. They may warm a degree or so and then they'll drop off a degree or so, but generally in the lower 40s here through the morning hours. And you notice that east northeast wind of seven miles per hour. You add that on top of the temperature feels more like the mid to upper 30s. So it's a cold start out there this morning. If you have any travel plans, have any running around you need to get done this morning. It is cold. 41 in Glenpool, 40 43 this morning in Bixby. You notice over in Coweta, we're setting at 44 degrees. Inola at 43. The rest of eastern Oklahoma, where we haven't seen much rainfall, southeast Oklahoma, temperatures are in the low 50s. McAllister, 52. Over in Pontotoc County, Ada and Roth at 52 degrees. 47 in Okeem. As you move to the north, temperatures get colder. We're at 39 currently in Bartlesville, 39 degrees up in Coffeyville, 37 in Joplin, and 34 degrees in Springfield. Now, what we expect as we move on through the day is these showers mainly across the northern half of the state. They'll slowly transition to the south as we move into the late afternoon and evening hours. So it looks like off and on rain here in Tulsa right on through the afternoon hours and winds out of the northeast anywhere from about 10 occasionally up to 15 miles per hour. You notice we are seeing some stronger winds in far eastern Oklahoma over into western areas of Arkansas also out to our west as we're seeing winds about 10 to 15 out in central sections of the state. You throw that with those temperatures. It currently feels like 38 degrees in Tulsa. Current wind chill 36 in Bartlesville right now it feels like 31 degrees up in Coffeyville. So it's a cold start out there very damp as well with those showers continuing to push on through as warm as 65 in Dallas warm across areas of Texas this morning and as cold as 26 degrees in Kansas City Lamar Colorado at 25. What are we expecting through the rest of the day? Well, we're going to see the best chance of showers during the morning hours mainly across northern Oklahoma. We'll see isolated activity south of Interstate 40. As we move through the afternoon hours, watch over in areas of northwestern Arkansas where yes, we could actually see a little bit of snow in northwest Arkansas could even see some minor accumulation over in the higher terrain of the Ozarks later on this afternoon. One, maybe up to two inches of snow possible there. We could see a few snow flurries possible in far northeastern Oklahoma. I don't expect any snow here in Tulsa or the Bartlesville area. But if you live near that Arkansas and Missouri line, you may see a few snow flurries mixing in during the afternoon hours. Now you notice the rain this morning here in northeast Oklahoma will transition to the south as we move into the afternoon. Eventually through the evening and overnight, it'll push on out. We'll see partly cloudy skies develop later on in the overnight, allowing temperatures to drop off. Then partly cloudy skies expected for tomorrow before clouds start to increase once again tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening with a slight chance of late day showers tomorrow evening. Overnight tonight, we will see temperatures drop into the 20s in many locations with partly cloudy skies developing in that northeast wind of 10 to 15. It's going to be a cold start tomorrow morning. Up to 53, partly cloudy. Clouds increasing during the second half of the day tomorrow. We'll see a slight chance of late day showers, 50% chance of showers Sunday night into early Monday morning. We'll stay in the 50s for highs Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Finally, back in the 60s, Thursday and Friday, we'll add more chances for showers, even some thunderstorms at that time. You know, Will, we always talk about it. We need the rainfall. It's great we're seeing the rain. Unfortunately, it's cool and it's on the weekend. Right. But with it being so dry out there, we've seen over the last several weeks, it's great to see this rain. It's really going to help out with some of the fire issues. Right. We've had so much fire so all across the state pretty much. This should help. Yeah, and I'm hoping, hoping that some of the burn bans can be lifted by the time this is over with. But right. again, we have to wait and see how much rain we get through the next some 24 hours. cooler temperatures to look forward to. As a little, well. little chilly on some of the mornings. Yeah, we haven't had those in a while. Yeah, so it's definitely still feeling a little bit like late winter across our area. All right, thank you, Taft. Okay. Well, there is no 